Hello YouTube, this is uh, Matt M6EB. Uh, just uh, wanted to do a bit of a, it's not, it's not so much a review because I haven't had time to um, to get to grips with it yet properly. Um, but basically I got, um, as, as you may or may not know, I'm, I'm quite limited in the, in the radio equipment uh, side of things. Um, basically I own a, um, a Titera MD380 um, and a Yesu fusion radio but that's kind of it and a bowfang which is is not uh, neither here nor there really um and i just have one collinear that's now on the on the roof um my local um i i'm part of a fusion gateway with my father-in-law g0hij which is the uh, excuse me which is the call sign mike bravo 6 papa romeo which is in ellswick um we've kind of done that together as a little bit of a project and my uh, my fusion radio um, can get into that absolutely no problem at all. It's uh, it's actually not even an issue, and is also a repeater in Blackpool, um, GB7 Foxtrot Foxtrot, which I can get into no problem at all. But my handy was near as damn it useless. It was it was you know totally useless really. It um, because I couldn't access my local repeater. Um, on the rubber duck. If I put it on the big antenna, obviously I can uh, I can get into it. But I use that for my fusion. So uh, I, I knew about hotspots, which is the reason for this video. Um, but I was skeptical, if I'm honest. I, I didn't really know how good they were. Um, so anyway, I, I took the plunge. I uh, I got one, um, and it's. Got it. I'll, I'll leave the, the the links in the description and stuff. Um, and I basically got this. Um, it's it's an MMDVM board on a Raspberry Pi. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and that came a couple of days ago. And since then, I've been absolutely hooked on it. It's been absolutely awesome. It really, really has. Honestly, it's been the one of the best things I've ever done in amateur radio. It really is good. It's it's obviously like having a repeater in, in your front room. Um, or in your shack, you know, you don't need to get into a repeater for uh, for a, either D Star Fusion, um, DMR, um, uh, P twenty five. I think it does something else as well. Um, so you just don't need it. Um, and as you can see there, it's it's saying that it's uh, it's listening. It's, I don't know if it's coming through on the uh, thing there. Um, and then if I turn it up a bit, and I can go anywhere around the house with this. You know, I can go up the garden, absolutely everywhere. It puts out 10 milliwatts um, on an internal antenna. If I go around the side a little bit, you can probably see that uh, there's a little internal antenna in it. There, rain sun, that's it. That's the little internal antenna. And it gets absolutely everywhere. Um, let's turn that down a bit. And it runs on PyStar. And this is the, uh, the PyStar um, software. So basically, it's it's easy to set up on there. I'm going to do more videos on that as well. Um, I mean, the guy that I bought it from, he, he set it up for me. Um, but it's quite simple to, to do from what I understand. Uh, you can get a Raspberry Pi for, for not a lot of money. Um, and then you can um, just um, get the Pi Star image and put it on an SD card. Um, get this MMDVM board. Um, or oh, I suppose it could be a DV mega board. I'm not 100% sure on that, but you just put it on top of the Raspberry Pi. It's got like a little LCD screen in it, uh, and that's it. And it it, it just works. Um, you just obviously put it on a simplex frequency, and um, away you go. I just really wanted to do a, a little bit of a video on it. I've been that impressed with it um, that it's basically made it so. Uh, if I couldn't get into a fusion. You know, if my gate, my father-in-law's gateway was down and GB7FF was down, then I could just basically use my uh, my 100 there and um, use it. Um, so basically, that's it. I and mean, also as well, I've I've had the, the power adjusted on my uh, FTM 100. Um, it does low uh, 5 watts, medium 20 watts, and high 50 watts. But you can. Um, for, for your knowledge, if, if you're interested, you can adjust the powers on them. Um, so for medium, I've had that turned down to 10, because um, otherwise I was not being able to use the medium. So uh, if you were wondering if you had the FTM 100, 
whether you can adjust the powers yes you can um, and that's that's fairly straightforward to do obviously if you're a foundation holder you need to get someone with a full license to do that for you which obviously I use my father-in-law you know he helped me with that so that's uh, that's that's that but yeah it's been brilliant you know it's it's amazing you know DMR I, I could never really use it before because um, it was just unless I went portable uh, right near the repeater in Blackpool then yeah I could use it but you know round Freckleton and stuff and I've, I've, I've I have taken this portable as well um, it's using an Ethernet port now um, so obviously it's using that's how it's it's connecting to the internet but I've also gone in the settings and you add your Wi-Fi into it um, and if it's not on uh, Ethernet it will just automatically go to the Wi-Fi and I've made my mobile phone a, um, a Wi-Fi hotspot. So if I go portable, as long as it's got power by a micro SD, uh, micro USB connector uh, with a battery pack, then that's it. It'll connect to my mobile phone. And I, uh, I was on, I used it all round in the car uh, yesterday, and it worked absolutely brilliantly. Um, so if anyone's on the fence about getting a, a hotspot, then uh, I'd, I certainly recommend it. As I say, I'm going to do a lot more videos on it now. Um, you know, I was a bit, it's been a bit of a sharp learning curve, really. There's not, I didn't find that much information on the internet about it. Um, so I'm starting to learn more about it now. And uh, as I say, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. I absolutely am blown away. Um, so yes, that's that's better. Just wanted to come in and, and give you a quick uh, video. I'm not done one for a little bit, and I thought this is a perfect uh, little video to do. Um, and as you can see, it's coming through absolutely f perfectly, and I can go absolutely anywhere in the house with that, not a problem at all. You know, it's it's, uh, it's working flawlessly. So anyway, that's it really, guys. As I say, just wanted to do a bit of a video. Um, if you're not a subscriber, I would much appreciate if you hit the subscribe button, give us a like, um, and and hopefully I'll I'll catch you on again soon. I'll, as I say, I'll do more videos uh, as and when. So this has been Mike Six Charlie Echo Bravo. You've been very kind to watch, and I'll see you later. Seventy three for now.